head, just my foundation and my um, concealer. My face is already done, but now I'm going to put on some bronzer and do my eyebrows. My bronzer is the NYC Smooth, Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in 720A, and I'm just going to be using an angled brush. and apply this to my face. Now I'm going to do the other side. And then I'm going to blend out any lines that I have. Now I'm going to apply it to my nose. And this will give the effect of a slimmer nose. And then finally, just my jawline. This will make the face look thinner. Okay, so now that I'm done with my bronzer, I'm just going to be using... Max Plum Foolery Shimmer Blush, and this is really, really old, and it cracked, well, the cover came out. With the same angle brush, I'm just going to apply this to this area, and I'm focusing more on this because I want my shape to look more sculpted, not so rosy on the cheek. And this color has a really pretty, um, sort of like a mauve kind of color, so it's like a pinky purple. This color would be way too dark for my face, or for someone who's pale, but I actually really like it as a blush. Now I'm going to apply this to the other side of my face, in the same area. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to be taking my Too Faced bronzer, but I'm going to use this as a highlight because it has a lot of shimmer in it, so next I'm going to be just fixing up my eyebrows, so I'm, I have this, I don't know where I got it from, but it's just like an eyebrow brush. And I'm going to be using this side to just brush out my eyebrows and make them look decent. Because when you sleep, they get all messed up. So, yeah. Now I'm going to be using a base. And for my base, I'm going to be using the Revlon Skin Light 730 Cream Shadows. And I'm going to be using this on my lid and a little bit into my crease. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Claire's palette and it looks like if I can get it open it's like this and I'm going to be taking this clay right here and apply it on my lid and I'm just using my finger for this. So now I'm going to be using my Stila Naturalized Eyeshadow Palette, and I am going to be using this gold color, and I'm going to be applying this to my inner third with just a regular eyeshadow brush.
Okay, so now that I've done that, next I'm going to be taking Sephora Moon Shadow Palette. I'm going to be applying this color, which is soft gold. Oh, no, sorry, that's light bronze. And I'm going to be applying this my second third, but I'm going to overlap a little bit of the last color I just put on. I'm also applying this with my finger. So this is going to give an almost foiling effect as it's going to be going from lighter to a darker brown. Next I'm going to be taking this copper color and it's right here and it's called peach. And I'm going to be applying this right over here just to kind of finish off the whole gold look. I'm going to be taking this color, and this is Honey Brown. Apply this to my right here, and I'm going to bring it up into my crease. So the outer corner and into the crease. Just like that. Now I'm going to do the same to the other side. Okay, so now as you can see, it looks a mess. I'm going to go off. So now that that is finally cleaned up, I'm going to be taking just a crease brush and or a blending brush. And this is looking blue in real life. There's some kind of shade on it. And I'm going to be going in with the original gold color that I used before. And what this will do is instead of just blending out everything into each other, this will sort of calm down any harsh lines. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I need a highlight. So as a highlight, I'm going to be using, back into my Claire's palette, I'm going to be taking this yellowish cream color, and I'm going to Apply this right underneath my brow bone, blending it in. That is it for the eyeshadow. I'm going to be applying my mascara, so I have to curl my lashes. I'm going to be applying liquid eyeliner to my top line. This is Dior's liner. healthy volume. And now to finish off the golden bronze look, I'm just going to be using my Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in brown. And I'm just going to apply it to my waterline. I'm going to finish this whole look off with my Laura Mercier lip lipstick in Passion Fruit. It looks like that. It's really smooth and nice. 
And then I'm just going to finish this off with my Makeup Forever Lab Shine Star Collection lip gloss in S4. Now I actually would recommend a new lip for this look, but based on you, do whatever you want to do. This is just basically on the eye looks. So I hope you enjoyed this look and that you have a happy holidays and that everything goes well. And please subscribe to my channel and comment and rate and subscribe and everything. Bye.